In this video, I'm going to talk about notebooks. And essentially what a notebook is, is basically just a system that allows you to uh, add tabs uh, to a main to Kinto window. And you can put items in those individual tabs, right? So I put the title as notebook and I've got the regular to Kinto import all, but we're also using the import TTK from to Kinto. I don't know why you have to explicitly uh, specify that you're importing TTK, but that's just how it is. Sometimes packages are weird like that. All right. Now then, first of all, we are actually going to make a notebook. So we'll just call it quite simply a notebook and it's going to be equal to ttk dot notebook okay um essentially because it comes from the ttk import so we've got to call it ttk we're going to make it in our window and we're actually going to just pack it on there i mean i could probably grid it on but who cares right i'm just going to pack it on right and we're going to give it some padding so we'll say pad y is equal to 20 just so you can see it on the frame Let's see what happens here. Let's see what this produces. Probably not much, probably just a dot. And you can see here, we've just got this little dot. I, I'm, I mean, you might not even be able to see this, but where my mouse is, you can see there's a little, uh, little gray thing. That is, weirdly enough, uh, the notebook. It's gonna make more sense as I go along, so just bear with me. It doesn't look very impressive, but soon we'll be able to put tabs inside of this. And we'll be able to put them here instead of just having this weird little thing, right? So we've made our notebook, which essentially it basically manages tabs, and you actually have to add tabs to the notebook. Um, you don't just fix them on by specifying the notebook as you know the place to place them. You also have to add them so that the notebook can render them. It's it's a strange system. I'm not sure why you can't just put them in, but Hey, I didn't design to Kinta, someone else did. And we're going to make a couple of frames, so we'll make a frame. We'll just say that it's a frame here. We're going to put it in the notebook, right? You're going to see what I mean by you actually have to specifically um, say that it exists in A or B place, right? We're going to make the background color of it black, okay? And we're going to make a second frame, we'll call it A frame 2. And I don't know what color should I have it background color. We'll make the background color equal to yellow. This is just so we're able to distinguish um, frame one and frame two quite easily. Okay, and then we're going to pack the frames. So we're going to pack a frame. So we're going to pack it. We're actually going to use a fill argument, which tells it how to fill uh, basically whatever a frac is a frame the frame is packed into so we're going to frame it with we're going to fill it with both should i say not frame it we're going to say expand is equal to one and expand basically makes it expand to if it's zero it doesn't expand at all if it's more than zero it'll make it expand to the size whatever it's in so this frame will be fitted into the notebook and it'll expand to the full size of like whatever the notebook would occupy i guess You'll see what I mean later on. We'll pack a frame dot two. Um, we'll give it the same argument, so we'll say fill is equal to both, and expand is equal to one. Now, when I run this, you're going to see something really strange. You're going to see that essentially, you'll you'll notice a difference, but you'll see that this doesn't actually render because we haven't added these frames to the notebook. So We've, we've declared that these frames belong inside the notebook, but we have to actually use a dot add argument uh, with the notebook so that the notebook can render them properly. You'll see what I mean. So let's just run this. And you can see that we've actually got this window here. Here we've got a little black dot, and this is, this is actually our notebook, right? And because a frame is the first frame and it's black, this has now become black instead of basically a clear little thing. I know it's nothing, and I you're thinking, well, where's my tabs? I, I can't really click that. That's, that's not going to help me. But you'll see very quickly you know, how this is going to work out. So I'm going to copy and paste all this. 
just put it here right underneath and we're actually going to use the add argument that I was talking about so we're going to say a notebook dot add and the first thing we're going to add is a frame so this will be the first item added I'm going to get say the text is equal to first frame I'm going to do a notebook dot add a frame two let's say the text is equal to second frame right and now if I run this you'll actually be able to see that the frames render properly hopefully there we are so we've got first frame and we've got second frame and you're probably thinking well that's really cool but I can't let's see I can see the smallest yellow line it's got the smallest body in the world I actually want something a bit bigger than that and the reason why you know I've just got essentially a line of black because you know the frame black background is black and the line of yellow is because it's just not taking up that much pixel space because we haven't give the fr we haven't given the frames uh, a width and a length so if I if I copy and paste this give the frames a width and a length you'll see that that'll fill out so we'll just say that width is equal to 250 length length ah I cannot spell <laughs> is also equal to 250 uh, I'll just copy and paste this in here to the one below it hopefully I spelt length right I'm doubting my own spelling but I'm pretty sure I know English um okay I uh I don't know English apparently oh it's height that's why it's not length it's height I'm such an idiot such an idiot it's height not length my uh, mistake there right let's let's fill this in now and you can actually see oh I don't know why that happened you can actually see we get two frames and the first frame BG with, with uh, BG of black it's completely black and it's got a width of 250 as its default width and it's got a height of 250 as its default height second frame exactly the same it's completely yellow it's got a height of 250 and it's got a width of 250 so remember to add a width if you care about the background and you don't just want to add elements to it as you please and also remember to use the dot add argument otherwise you'll end up with that little dot that we saw before right but now you can see that this is fine it's rendered properly just as we'd like it to so let's have a little experiment with it okay so there's a couple of uh, oops I've opened that up too many times just copy and paste this there's a couple of cool things you can do um, basically with these little uh, tabs in the notebook so these little frames so you can actually uh, hide one of these frames and you can also navigate to a frame you can't show a frame once you've hidden it so you can use navigate to a hidden frame once you've hidden a frame which will just make it disappear it'll make one of the tabs disappear and you can navigate to it and you'll 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 the, you'll make the frame again so the frame will appear but you'll go instantly into that frame so you can't just show the frame and then you know be able to click it it actually takes you into the frame not sure why that is but again I did not make uh, Takinta so I'm gonna add a couple of buttons um, these buttons will essentially show us how to hide a frame and how to navigate to a frame but not show a frame so we'll say button uh, we'll put it in a frame we'll put both buttons in a frame uh, we're gonna say that the text is equal to hide frame number two uh, we're going to say command is equal to um, invisible or invis we'll just call it and we'll just pack it on there quite simple all right we're going to say button ah uh, frame two text is equal to navigate to frame two command equals nav dot pack we're actually going to get an error here uh, because these two commands don't actually exist yet command nav and invis don't exist 
Um, it should still load the actual window. Oh, no, no, it doesn't load the window. So, yeah, there you go. I've got to define invis and nav, essentially. So, invis is what we're going to use to hide our frame. So, we're going to define invis. And we're just going to define it as, basically, we're going to use the hide command. I'm going to say a notebook.hide1. So, to explain what this means, um, basically, when you add an item to a notebook, um, it gets added as a tab, right? And the first tab will be item zero, you know, because arrays start in zero in Python. And the second tab will be array one, two, etc., etc. So each time you're adding whatever tab that you've added to uh, the notebook, you know, whether it be a frame or whatever, that uh, tab will be that index number, you know. So the so. This, this number, this number 1, is going to be the second frame because array start at 0 in Python. The first frame will be 0, the second frame will be 1. So we're going to hide number 1 with uh, this command invis, right? And then we're going to define nav, okay? And nav is essentially going to do a very similar thing using the uh, array of the notebook. But we're going to use select, and what this does is it selects the uh, the, the tab we want to go to. But it, it doesn't show it, it actually just takes us straight to it and makes it reappear if it doesn't exist. So it's weird, you can't just make it reappear. But I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean, it's probably better you see it. Oh dear, I can't see my buttons, so I don't know why that is. Um, I'd assume... It's probably because I've got a black background, so let's change that to blue. Or it might just be that the buttons just aren't that. Oh, right, I've put them both in A-frame 2. A-frame and A-frame 2. Let's put the buttons there. Okay, so now I've got one. I've got one to hide. Frame number 2. There we are. There we are. I'll just start that again, just to show that that's the right one. Right. So, I can hide frame number 2, and I can navigate to frame number 2. So, let's use navigate to frame 2, first of all. The notebook is not defined. Oh, gosh. I've really messed that up there. Where are we? A notebook. I put that in capitals, the A, instead of the N. So, I've got to undo that. Right, let's go back again. Very sorry about all this. Okay, so we navigate to frame 2, and it just takes us straight there, right? It takes us straight there. There's not really any reason to do this, um, you know, when you've just got two frames like this. But let's say that we expand this, right? And every, you know, couple of centimeters or th there's like 30 frames, okay? And we want to be able to, on every single tab, navigate to any of these 30 frames. We make 30 small buttons and we just navigate to them. That makes sense because it saves you from going all the way around. To click it, you just go blink, 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 and you've got it, right? Now, hiding frames, I'm not sure you'd, why you'd want to do that, but there's probably reasons why you'd do it. And if we hide this, you'd see, you can no longer get to it. However, if I navigate to it, I can get to it. But the problem with the navigation is, um, well, I enter the frame, you know? I, it doesn't just show me the frame, it, we enter the frame. Now, the only way that you can... You know remake this frame rather than navigate into it it's just to basically have a button that builds the frame a second time because that makes it a new uh, it assigns a new valuable to the variable doesn't matter if it's the same value as before it just refreshes the variable so it appears and then you can click on it but the navigate for this for some stupid reason just takes you to hidden frames and you know they, sh they should have had a show uh, frame command but they don't Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to frames. Um, there's a lot more I could show you with frames, but I'd be basically showing you how to make a project rather than just showing you the basics of frames. Hope you understood and hope you enjoyed.